Hey, Devo, just curious, what were some of the maybe lessons learned or main takeaways from that game at Texas last weekend? And then what have you seen from the guys this week in practice in terms of their response and bouncing back? Yeah, um, the Texas game was um, an experience. Um, we've, as a team, have an encounter, you know, um, at the beginning of the season. So um, it was it was a tough stretch going through that game. But um, I feel like as a team, we all learned from it, you know, and, um, of course, we're going to bounce back from that, and, uh, continue to work hard and just, just play our game. You know what I mean? Now, as you've seen, we didn't play to our full potential, but um, you guys will see that um, this coming up Monday. And I'm, I'm not sure how far you guys have kind of dived into uh, North Dakota State yet, but just curious what you've seen out of them and, and maybe some of the challenges that they'll pose for you on Monday. Yeah, um, they're a really good team. Uh, they was almost um, – qualified for uh, March Madness last year. And so um, they're a really good team. They got a lot of good guys on their team. Um, they're not too older. They're not much older than us, um, but they are really, they are really good. You know, um, we did scout on them. They got um, a lot of guys that can shoot the ball really well. And so we know coming into this game, we're going to have to take care of the ball, but also um, cover the three-point line. So they are not splashing threes everywhere to where, um, it's a close game the entire game. Thanks, Devo. Scotty? Yeah, Devo, maybe a little bit of a big picture question here, but Eric has said, I think in the preseason after the red-white game, that you guys are going to go into this year with a target on your back. I'm just curious if you get a sense that everyone's kind of understanding of that, and where do you think everyone is in terms of embracing it? Yeah, um, I think before the original one game, we had that target on our back. Um, coming into this thing, we knew we was going to have that, um, no matter who was on the team, just because we'd already started raising backs and um, we, achieved, we have achieved so much um, through these few years, um, these past few years. And so I think every single year we're going to have a target on our back. Um, from now on, you know, um, the way the program is, is heading, it's like, why wouldn't we? Um, plus, we're winning games, we're getting guys um, to – come here um, and just uh, commit to the, the work and hard work and things that Coach Musk brings to the table. And um, and we as players and uh, former players and also new players coming in, they'll have to um, embrace embrace their their entire body, their minds and everything to the hard work that the Arkansas Razorback put in. So um, I think every single year, we're going to have a target on our back. Um, and I say we because I can't be here forever, but I know once you were raised back, you always are raised back. So the Razorbacks as a whole um, university is is making a huge impact on, on the entire the entire country. And from a, a personal standpoint, where do you want to take your game this year? I don't, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but maybe last year didn't go as well as you wanted it to statistically, but wh where do you want to take it individually this year? Uh, it's, um, um, this upcoming Monday, you'll see um, my game is going to tremendously grow um, as a player. Um, me um, physically being ready and mentally being ready, I'm going to all, it's going to all be there. Uh, starting Monday and it's going to continue to happen through it, the, throughout the entire season. You'll see it. Touch. Yeah, Diva, this is your third season, so it's your third season opener. Does this feel any different than the previous ones, or kind of what's your emotions going into the first game of the season? Um, um, I feel good about it. Um, I know us as a team, we're we're gonna be prepared and ready to play this game. And so with that being said, I think um as a whole, we're gonna be ready to play. And like you said, it is my third season, and um I'm well prepared and ready to play. And um, can't wait, can't can't wait to get out there with them and fight hard and, and win these games. Between the way the the Texas game went last week, and then you know this upcoming game is going to be one, be one that actually counts in the record. Do you, do you get a sense that there's an added intensity and added focus and practice in these this week leading up to it? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Um, knowing that these games coming up counts. You know what I mean? These are not exhibition games, so these games count. Um, and we don't want to come. Um, our first game in and and and, and not play as hard as we can and, and fall short knowing that we're playing a good team. And so um we it's it's most definitely um more turned up in practice and and we're 
growing everything together, um, making sure all the balls are tight and we're going to be ready to play. Demetrius. Yes, Devo, can you talk about the experience last night at the BWA event and then uh, just uh, just having Duke News come out and perform, and is that maybe something you see uh, happening more often in the future? Uh, yeah, um, we had an amazing time. Um, we was with the girls' uh, team, uh, had three-point contest, the dunk contest, and then we had all the students out uh, to support that. And so uh, with that going well, um, I feel like it will – for sure happen in the future with different artists coming in as well, maybe even more, um, even bigger, um, open it to the public and things like that. Um, once everything starts to build up, you know what I mean? Any other questions for Devo? All right, Devo, appreciate your time. We'll get come on here in a minute.